Welcome to Revival Time Zambia by Pastor Kobe Moyon Zlovu. And your breakthrough is dissolved. When a man wants to marry you, hell will press a button 
and it will not wake up. And so it was that Jesus Christ knew that if I am going to take over and I'm going to deliver these people, I need to go to hell and deal with the source of the problem. Then I'll come back on top and I'll tell them that it is finished. Behold, all powers in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and become what you need to become. Is anybody listening to the pastor? This is why I want to just to start a topic today on how you can break free from curses. Jesus Christ break all the curses. All the curses were broken. What is a curse? A curse is an empowerment to fail. When the devil doesn't want you to prosper, he will send what is known as a curse. A curse will shut your ability to go, to grow, your ability to go higher. This is why a curse is a bridge which connects sin and death. A curse will always connect sin and death. When you sin, sin will introduce a curse. And the curse will communion with the, the curse will now introduce death. So it is a step going. Sin, curse, then death. Are you there? A curse is an empowerment to fail. A curse can be placed on people. A curse can be placed on a place. A curse can be placed on anything. Because when you look at a curse, you understand that a curse can come through a speech or through a decree. When someone decrees something, they can declare a curse. That's why you find some people who like saying, Oh, my, my dead body, you will not go away. Others will say, Namukanum bashe, ukashiningisha. All those are curses. These curses are released to hinder and stop and block in the, the blessings and the things that God has for your life. Now, I want you to know that these words can be spoken on a family. There are some families that are cursed. This curse can be spoken on a person. This curse can be spoken on a nation. There are some nations that are cursed because of what they do. It can be placed on a, on a government. There are some governments that are cursed in Africa. It can be placed on a city. The moment you go into that city, you will not prosper. When you walk out of that city, you start prospering. Is anybody listening to me? This curse can be placed on a road or a river. There is a road, it's name in Lusaka, it's a nice name called Church Road. But it is in Church Road where we find a lot of accidents by, 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 by the, the, the college there. There are places, good roads like Kafua Road. I was very surprised to hear that Kafua Road is one of the leading roads in accidents in Africa. In Kafua Road, just this road. There's a curse operating on the road. Are you there? The land can be cursed. Food can be cursed. There are many things that even a house or a car can be cursed. And when a curse is operating over these things, it becomes a very big problem. Where there is a curse, prosperity can never rise. Where there is a curse, things can never rise at all, at all. This is why it is very, very important for you, as you listen to Pastor today, to understand the pillars and the principles that are holding you down. The Holy Spirit was given to give you power and authority. But I came still to remind you that when a curse is operating, it will stop a lot of things to happen in your life. This is why there are some people, no matter how you encourage them, no matter how you speak to them, things don't seem to work in their lives. There are some examples in the Bible where a curse was placed. When you read the book of Genesis 9.20, we see Noah cursing his children. Noah cursed his children. Why? Because they saw his nakedness. A curse came. Are you there? Meaning children can also be cursed. Jericho, according to Joshua chapter 6 verse 26, after 878 years old, Joshua cursed that land of Jericho. And we see that Jericho, as cursed as Jericho was, the curse was on the city called Jericho. And they could not prosper anyone who was in Jericho. David's house was cursed in Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. When David had sex with Bathsheba, when David made love to Bathsheba, because Bathsheba was another man's wife, uh, another man's wife, a curse was placed upon the house of David. So there are some houses that incur curses because of the happenings in the families. Adam and Eve were cursed according to Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Meaning people can be cursed. The snake was cursed according to Genesis 3 14. Even animals can be cursed. Hello? People, instead of trusting God, the 
Bible says, if you put your trust in man, I will curse you. Because cursed is every man who puts their trust in the, in the hand of flesh. And lastly, number nine, if you fail to give your tithe, you are cursed. Any person that does not give their 10% to God, the Bible says they are cursed. How then do people get these curses? How then do curses come upon people? Because Jesus died for us and he destroyed all the curses. Even if Jesus died, it is us now who bring curses upon ourselves. We start picking what Jesus has dealt with. It's like your father in the house or your mother. They buy some food for you. They leave and they tell you that we only use the inside. That brings a problem in the house. And many of us sitting in here, some of us are cursed by our own doings. Some of us are cursed by our father's doings. Some of us are cursed by our sister's doings. There are many things that will bring a curse upon our lives. And I want you to understand, this message might not be a cup of tea. It might be a cup of lemonade. Because I want you first and foremost, if I will talk about the need for the baptism of the Holy Ghost this afternoon, I want you to understand and know that there are some curses that follow you. There are some curses that are after you. Yesterday I told your friends, I said in John chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says, unto them who received him, he gave them power to become children of God. The devil is fighting you because of the power that God has put in you. You are not an ordinary person. You are a supernatural person. There is power that God has injected inside of your life. That power that is inside of your life is the power that is making the devil hate you. Listen to me. The devil is fighting you. The devil is pushing you. The devil is blocking you. Not because of who you are, but because of the power that God has put inside of you. That power is what is attracting problems. When you look at the light, the light there, you notice that in the night, that light will not just be giving us light, but there will be tunaka pedelesia, there will be tunaka perele, there will be a lot of insects that will go to that light. That's how you are. The Bible says you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. As the light of the world, you will introduce and attract a lot of problems on your body. I came to speak to somebody today who will catch the revelation of understanding that you are a son of God. Because you are a son of God, you are also a God. Because you are a God, the devil gods are fighting you. They want to block your house. They want to block your children. They want to block everything around you. But today, I came to remind you, God has shared his Godhead with man like you and me. We are gods. What we say comes to pass. In Genesis, he said, let there be light and there was light. You today can say, in my life, let there be light and there shall be light. And nobody will block you and nobody will hinder you. This is why it's of a paramount importance for you as you are listening to me today to know that the plans of the enemy is to shut your face so that you don't know how to live a life that is blessed. We are all destined for blessing. Do you know that according to God's plan, all of us are supposed to be rich. All of us are supposed to be healthy. All of us are supposed to. That's why when you open your Bible, you will never read the story that then God said, go and make a hospital. Or then God said, go and make police officers and make myself. It's not there. Because the plan of God was that all of us, you know what? As far as God is concerned, in his design, the doctors are in their categories. The nurses in their categories. Pastors in their categories. Player, football players in their categories. We all have our own category. But because of the curse, those who are supposed to be nurses, they failed at school. Those who are not supposed to be nurses, answered the call of being a nurse. Today, we've got a lot of people who have got what we call misplaced destinies. Many men have married women they were not supposed to marry. Many women are married to men they were not supposed to marry. Many people are doing jobs they were not supposed to do. Those who are supposed to be doctors are selling newspaper. Those who are doctors, who are, who are doctors, are the ones who should have been selling newspaper. But the destinies have been mixed up. Why? Because of the curse. When the curse is operating, it misplaces people. It damages people's plans. It damages people's lives. And people lose and don't know where to go because the curse is in operation. This is why I want to bring to your attention that today, as I talk about this, and especially when I talk about how curses come in our lives, you need to take this seriously. Because a curse has got
got a life of its own. It is for the quantum world, Yaniko. Nobody could come at the work of way. The curse has got a life of its own. Any man that comes to you, the curse will push them away. Are you listening to the preacher? How do, does one incur a curse? How does a curse come upon a person? Number one, I want you to understand that curses can be incurred through the following vehicles. I call them vehicles because it needs something. A curse needs somewhere to enter in order to come inside your body. A curse stays in your blood. That's why whatever, whatever, whatever child you give birth to will also be cursed. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are here, please, with all respect, if you are here, Hear me well. I came to deliver you today. Because if you let that spirit over your body, you will discover that show me some families. Because the lives in the blood. Not only that, if your father has TB or diabetes or cancer or sugar, trust me, you also have it in your blood. But I'm here today to deliver you. Because these spirits, they never die. By the way, doctors will tell you, do you know that any medicine that is in the hospital, they do not cure. They don't heal. All they do is suppress or bring together in one bowl and allow you to go to the toilet. They cannot cure nothing.